Welcome back to my channel, friend. I'm Fu, founder of Appentel. In today's video, I will introduce you to the main square system in Spain, 16th century, which is the golden era of Spanish Empire. So, please tighten your seatbelt and enjoy the ride. Brief history about Spanish Empire. The Spanish monarchy was created when Ferdinand of Aragon and Isabel of Castile married and united their nations. With the new dynasty, Spain reconquered Iberia Peninsula and started to of Spain overseas. The empire reached its golden age in 16th and 17th century when it had colonies all around the world. The first global empire where the sun never set the wealth of the empire brought enough gold and silver to reintroduce inflation into Europe. With such a large empire, the Spanish had troubles keeping it together. Wars with British, French, Americans, and independence movements tore the empire apart. The empire also industrialized much later than other Western Europeans, which made the economy heavily dependent on agriculture and mining. The empire formally ended when the last overseas colony was lost in 1976. European heritage Spain shared both of the closed system with other European nations, which consists of a linen shirt with collars or rough and matching wrist rough, which were laundered with starch to be kept stiff and bright. Doublet was stiff, heavy garments with long sleeves, soles or lace in place and were often reinforced with bonding that were worn over the shirt. A jerkin, usually sleeveless and often made of leather, was worn over the doublet. Waistline deep v shaped in front and were padded to hold their shirt. Around 1570, this padding was exaggerated into the piece called belly. Holes in variety of style were worn with copies early in the period. Trunk holes or round holes were short padded holes very short trunk holes were worn over canyons, fitted holes that end above the knees. Slops or galiga skin was loose holes reaching the just above the knee. Short clubs or caps, usually hip length, often with sleeves or a military jacket like a Madelian, were fashionable. Low clubs were worn in cold and wet weather. Gouts and robes began to fall out of the fashion and became traditional clothes. Spanish distinct style. 16th century is a rare time in European history when Spanish fashion dominated the continent. From their colony in America, the Spain had a monopoly of expensive deep black dye stuff called Raven's Wing and another intense red dye stuff from Cochineo Buck. These colors became mandatory in court dress and was popular everywhere except France and Italy. It became the symbol of wealth, social class, and religious austerity. The black clothes were made of intricate heavy fabric like velvet and raised silk, and decorated with jewelry like rubies, diamonds, and pearls to contrast the black backdrop. They also wore ruffs, lechuguia, a wheel of white linen cloth that wrapped around the neck with a matching pair of cups. It was meant to show that the men had a high position and didn't have to do manual labor. In later time, Spanish rough became a plain semicircular wheel called Golilia, while other European rough became elaborate, made of delicate reticulas, and later using little lace. In later times, the Spanish changed their slim fit trunk holes into a single padded bridge called Cazones, which made them look broad and solid. Other European follow French style is that headwear. Through the 1570s, a soft fabric hat with a gathered crown was worn. This derived from the flat hat of previous period, and over time the hat was stiffened and the crown became taller and far from flat. Later, a conical hat, felt hat with a round crown called capotin or copotin became fashionable. This became very tall toward the end of the centuries. Heads were decorated with jewels or feathers and were worn indoor or out. Close fitting caps covered the ears and tied under the chin coat. Coats continued to be worn by children and older men under their heads or alone indoor. Men's coats were usually black. A conical hat caps of linen with a turned up rim called nightcaps 
was worn informally indoors. These were often embroidered. Footwear during village to rules, soles were pointed with a large slash in the arches and two more on the sides. Later on, the tip of the shoe became flatter and lace were added. Boots were worn for riding. Hairstyle Hair was generally worn short, brushed back from the forehead. Longer hairstyles were popular in the 1580s. In the 1590s, young men of fashion wore a love lock, a long section of hair hanging over one shoulder. Auto vests were worn by many men prior to the mid 16th century. It was this time the grooming and styling facial hair gained social significance. These styles would change very frequently from pointed whisker to round trims throughout these decades. Accessories, a boundary or cross, was a belt commonly worn diagonally across the chest or around the waist for holding items such as swords, daggers, buckles, and horns. Gloves were often used as a social signal to recognize the wealthy. Beginning in the second half of the 16th century, many men trimmed teeth off the finger of the gloves in order to show off others to see the jewels behind the gloves. Late in the period, Fashionable young men wore a plain gold ring, a jeweled earring, or a strand of black silk through one pierced ear. Close material. Spain steel cap is monopoly in merino wool, a type of fine wool much loved in England and Netherlands. Most of the flock were owned by nobility and the church. The wool dyed in a dark color was favored among Protestant communities in contrast of the bright color from the French and Italian court. I hope through this video you can have an overview of the square system in Spain, 16th century. I made this video not as an insider but an outsider trying to understand. So if I have incorrect information, feel free to comment down below. As you can see, the main square system in Spain, 16th century, prioritized black and red over other colors. Speaking of which, here are red and black. Avete was wrapped the world's first single piece, later later was wrapped. The was wrapped is available in hundreds of combinations, link in the description. We also have Avete belt. The Avete belt is a premium holy belt made of full grain vegetable tan leather. The belt is available in dozens of colors, link in the description. Have a nice day and see you in the next video.